Hey YouTube, GameX Pro 95 here, and today I have a pretty awesome tutorial for you guys on how to get super, super sweet Windows themes. So, what you're gonna want to do is download the theme manager. Link in the description. Um, when you click on the link, it will bring you to a page like this. It'll bring you to this page. Scroll down about three quarters. Download file. Once it's done downloading, it'll put it on your desktop in an icon like that. Go ahead and open it up. Do not do anything except for this. Click Browse DeviantArt for Windows 7 themes. That will open your browser and bring you to this page. Now go ahead and search something that you would like. Like, um, let's go with Alien. Let it load. Actually, guys, um, no, don't search anything. Just scroll down until you find a theme that you like. Or if you want, you can search something, but sometimes, most of the time when you search, it usually does not work. It's, it's just different. Um, so scroll down until you find something that you like. Um, I think dynamic black is pretty neat. Uh, if this one's low, that would be nice. So once you find a theme that you like, click on it. God. There we go. We'll let it load. And once it's done loading, it'll bring you to this page. Scroll down, hit download file. Go ahead and click open. It should be WinRAR. Pause the video while it downloads. Okay, guys, so it will open it in WinRAR. Open up that. Dynamic black should be right here. Um, so go extract to. Desktop, okay. You'll start extracting. Now it's done. Now it is right here. Now this is what Theme Manager is used for. Open up your Theme Manager. What Theme Manager is used for is to sort your themes and organize them so you don't have to have folders all over your desktop. Open up Theme Manager, check mark this, hit browse. Now Wherever you extracted your theme to from WinRAR, go to that area. In my case, this is it is desktop. So I'll go to desktop, scroll down till you find it, dynamic black, and then hit theme. And then it should be this one. Go ahead and hit install theme. Okay. There we go. Now, right here it says dynamic black. So, what you're going to want to do is click on dynamic black and go ahead and click apply theme. Now, the screen should go gray and it should say sweet. At least most of the time it will do that. This will pop up, then it should go gray. There we go. And Give it a couple seconds to load. Alright guys, so now it's loaded. This is a pretty nice theme here. Got the new start menu. Let's see what the browser looks like. Oh, browser's alright. That. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice theme. Um, so now you can just go back to that website, browse DeviantArt for Windows 7 themes, search stuff. Um, it'll give you some pretty sick themes, guys. And uh, do not stop watching yet. I'm gonna show you one more thing.
Okay, so... I'm going to go to my document. Um, I'm going Now guys, this is possibly the best theme I have ever seen. It is so cool. Um, I'll put a notation at the end of the video to the video of how you get this super insane theme. It just completely changes your computer and brings you to a complete other world. It's just, it's just insane, guys. I love this theme. Not sure if you can from the website that we just got dynamic black from. But this theme oh it just blows my mind. Insane. And it's got really awesome sound effects. Like when you close your browser and stuff. It's different oh it's just amazing. So this is the theme that I was just telling you about. Alienware Evolution. See it's just oh my god, it's just amazing. Um, so yeah, click on the annotation in the video, um, to watch a video how to get this insane scene, theme, sorry, this is what it sounds like when you close the, uh, when you close the, the uh, windows. Okay, that didn't work. That's when you open it. Open. Close. Open. X. Okay, well, when you exit your browser, it gives you a nice little sound effect. But guys, this, this stuff is just... This stuff is just insane, guys. Oh, yeah, and I will make, be making another video soon on how to create your own icons or your um, shortcuts. And how to remove those stupid, ugly shortcut arrows on your shortcuts. Um... So stay tuned on my channel for other videos that will probably be coming up soon. Thanks guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh hope hope it helped.